Sunday record show time, Seattle Center. It's where the monorail stops and it's where the Space Needle begins, is, starts. 1960 World's Fair and we have Coffee Dave joining the crew. Coffee Dave, uh, we're not on live stream, but we're on a recorded video for this record show. Uh, since you are a fan favorite, since you want, oh, you're yeah. a fan favorite there. Good morning. Okay. Hey. The, okay. Uh, this is just being recorded, oh, so okay. it's not live. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, I'm going to head to the ATM. I need to stop at an ATM, and we'll go to the record show, and we'll see you there. Right, Dave? Is there anything you're looking for, particularly? Or? Not really. Uh, not me neither. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, not, that's what they say, not yet. Yeah. So uh, we'll see you in... We'll see you a $1,000 later. No, no, no. no Just no, kidding. No, 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 no. No, so tell me about... Okay, tell people about Seattle Center, because you're a local boy. Seattle Center is kind of uh, the, uh, you know, the grounds where they, obviously the Space Needle and the Science Center that used to be there, um, and also uh, the, well, there was an, I think the Seattle Art Museum had a uh, space there. They showed the King Tut Museum exhibit there back in 77. The food court's right across from where we're at. That used so to we're be, gonna be in the armory. Yeah, we're in the armory where the bubble eater used to be for the World's Fair. That was really right where the records are, is where the kind of where the bubble eater used to be. That What's used the to, bubble eater? It was the big elevator with the big you know plexiglass dome that people would go up and down oh, on. Oh, so it's know, like a like uh, a Westinghouse uh, thing. Oh, like RG the, the, of the future, you know. Uh, so the the. What's that, uh, the progress thing in Disneyland way back in Anaheim, the early Disneyland had the Carousel of Progress, they called it. Yes, it's it's something similar to that, you know, the, uh, you know, all the, uh, the rampant enthusiasm of the 60s, the space age, all that kind of stuff that was, you know, brought, that was all part of the whole, whole thing. So yeah, it's a, I don't know, I mean, I've said it before, it's kind of like what they have in San Francisco down in the same way where they have, you know, there's the IMAX theater there too as well. That's been there for a long time. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, iconic grounds and the Coliseum, the key arena and too, right? So Elvis, it's all there in the same place. What's the Elvis Presley movie they filmed there? Remember, it's at, uh, at the World's Fair. Yeah, wasn't it? And, and it was that, was it Kurt Russell or Ron Howard that was a kid? I think it was Kurt Russell. Oh. Oh. As a little kid that kicks him in the leg, right? Is that, am I wrong? Uh, you might have to see you at the world's, see you at the question. world's fair. Elvis yeah. Presley. Okay. So yeah, there you go. That's the, it's a brief, real abbreviated history of the Seattle center. Local boy here. Yeah. You know, it's a, I spent, oh, and Bumbershoot too. That's there every year uh, for those that might be aware of the local festival every fall. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on at the Seattle center changed over the years. And but KEXP, the great radio station KXP yes. uh, has relocated there yes. some years ago. Has a great, you can actually uh, set up tours of KXP. They have live shows. There's a cafe, sort of a community area with a cafe, almost like a college lounge. Anyway, we'll see you there, okay? One of the best radio stations in the country, I might add. For and you can stream at KEXP. Yes. Take care. See you in a bit. See ya. Okay, here we are at Seattle Center, and we're going to the record show fall 2022 with Coffee Dave and Mazzy. The World's Fair, here we go. This building, this building is a national treasure. Yeah, it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. But people, you gotta see environmental stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the Chihuly, uh, what do they call them? The Chihuly what? Glass Museum. Glass Museum. There we go. It's kind of weird ass shit. <laughs> this reminds me of an acid trip I took in 1970, 70, 72. So this is more of a digital version of that. Like is it? An analog, you know. This is Space Museum. How many times have I been here since I was a kid? How many how many days, not hours, days and days have I spent here? Uh, good memories, man. Yeah. So you're in a way the uh, Seattle equivalent of Mazzy's San Francisco, right? A young, yeah, a little bit younger version. Well, we all but know no, that. that's but fine. Yeah. But forget yeah. the time period, yeah. but you know, you know the city. 
Yeah, I mean, I was. And the coming change here, is good, bad, and ugly. Yeah, I, I was here in '84, you know, for Bumber Shoot when when I was a kid, and over the years, and yes, I've seen it change, and for work and stuff like that as well. When I was in my coffee years, you know, that's um, why it's Coffee Dave, so, by the way. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, how many years? Thirty years in coffee? Twenty-seven years? About thirty. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty years yeah. drinking that. That Since coffee. I was a young, young ki- a youngin, as I like to say, the youngins. Very young. Okay, well, here we are. It's great. thinking when like no pia does that mean that it was a 66 like post liberty or uh but, well yeah well the post post new yeah, that is a liberty press yeah with new york usa because i didn't even know there was a mono of that from that yeah because yeah, i know yeah. idle moments didn't sell very well a lot of the grand records didn't yeah but then they actually repressed that several more times yeah i know but the, i guess maybe the repress is i have a lot of grand greens on the black and blue but like yeah yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Almost all my dressings are that. Okay. Uh, there's yeah. stuff you're selling on the beat up stuff. Or yeah. Find yeah. a pair it with your better copy. Yeah. Just got in. Kimbo's here. Kimbo, where are you? Kimbo, there right you here. So we're gonna do a little a T-shirt exchange. So I've already got a bag full of records oh. too. Oh, I just got here, so I haven't had a chance. So there's that. I'm presenting that one to uh, Kimbo. This is it large? It's a large. Do you need an extra large? 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 It looks extra large, but it'll shrink. No, it. Yeah, it, I. This, I wear large. Yeah, yeah. And you're bigger than me. Okay. It's all Thank you. Okay. So nice. Can I? Rare. Now oh, here's here's what I got from Connecticut. Wow. What's Telegraph going on? Records in New London, Connecticut. New London. New That's London. Beetle Connection. Connection. Yes. Beetle Connection. Right, right. It looks like New London. Let me give it a, a moment of thought, but I will Oh no, I'll give it so. I yeah, I got to see the basically the whole thing stay. It was pretty amazing.
So apparently Kimbo's a high roller. He's in the high roller section. No, <laughs> I'm looking for. I'm looking high for roller. Norman here. I'm looking for Norman. Who's Norman? Is this guy? Is this guy any good? <laughs> hey, he plays a hell of a piano. He's a great, great guy. What is yeah, that? What is that? Great. That looks. Deal. That looks like Coffee Dave in the morning. Right? Yeah. Oh, it looks like Rachel. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, come on. No. Wait, Billy Joel. Okay, wait a minute. Miles Davis called um, called Steve Miller a sorry-ass cat. But he should also call Billy Joel a sorry-ass cat, too. Shouldn't he? Are they yeah. two sorry-ass cats competing for each other? Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Um, what is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, Elf. Elf. It's, 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 the, it's the very Dio. first. Yeah, the very first Ronnie James Dio. Oh, it is? See, I didn't even know that. You know, okay, this, I'm gonna be official, except when I worked in the record business, this is my very first Van Halen record. <laughs> I got a promo the first record and I sold it like the next week. I just couldn't get into it, so I have to get this one, because I have the single, so. Coffee, Dave. What did you get at the show? I'll make it fast. You know, it's just don't make it fast. It's off the clubs. Joy Division, 77 Days Substance. Don't have a copy of it. Is that an American? Uh, no, it's UK. UK. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, UK. So, you know, notable bands. Don't have any of their stuff, so I had to get it. Another one, Dillatronic. They put aside Jay Dilla right here, right? Still sealed. I have the Donuts album. I don't have anything else. Don't ask me why. This one saw it. Got to get it. Amazing. It was a classic one too. I don't think I have it on vinyl. I don't have it on CD, but even if I get a secondary copy, I don't care because, you know, it's impossible to find them. It's very rare. This one I only have on CD, I know. So this is my vinyl copy of this. Another fantastic album from the past. If you're into that, which is amazing. This one I have on CD, the old like. Is that a record store day or no? Is that a reissue? No, it's a it's a reissue from like the late '80s. Oh but wow. But it's on okay. Polydor. It's rare. I have it on disc, but really hard to find it on vinyl in good shape. Okay. Um, great one. And then finally, last last one, this recording the end. What is it? New. What's the name of it? It's a. Uh, Numero Group. Yeah, Numero Group. Numero. Nice. So some soul funk kind of comp. Is that, that from like record. Midwest? They Numero Group some of, has some of the best reissues there. Yeah, I mean, this is the back of it there, so, yeah. Yeah, no, they're, they're a unique indie label that does a lot of, they're kind of like a light in the attic, right? Of a different kind. All right. That's it. I mean, keep it, it simple. It. Okay. <laughs> you can watch the video when it's up. Okay, let's see what you got now, Kimbo. Let's see what he got. Okay, we got, we got Kimbo's Hall here. Okay. Mark Hayes, that's cool. Mark Hayes. Oh, oh, that's I got this, is that an OG? Um, got an OG of um, wow. Eddie Davis, which wow. I've been looking for. Wow. We got a Confunction, which was part of a deal that I bought. And let's see. And I got this in a part of a funk collection, too. I don't know what it's called. Some more funk. Great covers. And then uh, another funk one that I got. Okay. Promo copy. A brainstorm. Uh oh, this one's turned around. Oh yeah, some local stuff. Sir Mix a lot. 
And some Parliament. Karam. And then I got this. Is that a two eye? The no, Parliament? No, I'm sorry. I mean, is that a. Um, that's a two, Moby Grape. I got the Moby Grape with the, uh, the two finger eye? cover. Does that have a poster? No poster? No poster. But it does have the cover. And it's a two eye. Okay. San Francisco Bay. I got an elf. Ronnie James Dio. Actually, I actually have two elves in here. This is the first one. Yes. Uh, oh, I got a Screaming Trees clairvoyance because I have to buy the, the local. I haven't seen that one for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know what this is. This is a blind buy of. It looks like the hippie uh, mushroom psilocybin album. My psych stuff that I love to get. So we'll okay, see. fair enough. Oh, I got an Aria, Ariana Grande. This is a. Wow. This is a current release, but current release. Older, that's fine. That's fine. I lo I love. I got that in the Coleman collection. And uh, this is something on stacks. That's a great record. Is it? I don't know. This yeah, I have that. So yeah. it's in good shape on stacks. So it's yep. gotta be good. So I had to get it. Um, Tilted ahead. I'm getting a little glare. There we go. The mods hold on. I don't know that. That's a I don't know. See, this is another psych blind buy that I did. Awesome. Great album. Yeah. And then I got the uh, first television album. So I had to get that. And here's the other elf album, the first elf album. With that. Yeah. And, and then there's these two. Um, these are two other psych blind buys. Elf. Now, these have nothing to do with the Beatles' help, right? Nothing to do with the Beatles' help. Okay. Usually there's connection. always a Beatles connection. This I guess that the Beatles connection is called help. This one's actually sealed. This is a help from... So are you a flipper? Is that your flipper copy? No, no, no. <laughs> and then the last thing I bought was this budgie album, which is missing from my budgie collection. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Mazzy's Hall. Mazzy's Hall. From the like Monty Hall. From the Armory, okay. Seattle Center. I didn't. I don't have a copy of this anymore. This is the uh, John Mayall. John Mayall with. This is the one with. Uh, yeah, with the. Oh. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. Ronnie Hawkins, the Hawk. Obviously, the band used to back Ronnie Hawkins up. Uh, this is a pie. It's probably like an '80s issue of it. Ronnie Hawkins. I saw him at the last wall. Oh. <laughs> P.I.L. P.I.L. I don't. I've never owned this record. I, I've heard it. I know the record. But Johnny Lydon, produced by Bill Laswell, so it's got that very heavy percussive sound. Yeah, you know. I used to have this. I just haven't had a copy. And this is uh, this is their first EP, and I love this. Garden. Yeah, did you buy? Uh, there was a guy that had like the whole REM catalog. I got it. it. Yeah, yeah, but I already have everything else. Yeah. I just don't have. I love gardening at night. I think they just reissued this as a picture disc, and I hate fucking picture discs. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is a cool comp. This is um, funky soul African classics, wow. two record set. You know, I like analog Africa stuff. It's not exactly that, but it's psychedelic, funky, African shit. Looks good. Um, Lester Lang, uh, Peter Lang, I'm sorry, Peter Lang. Uh, this is on Tacoma Records, which is John Fahey's uh, record, mostly a label, mostly primitive guitar players at acoustic sound. Leo Kotke was on the label. It's in that vein of Sandy Bull and Leo Kotke and, uh, uh, you know. Is it a Berkeley label? No, it's Tacoma. I forgot where Tacoma's from. Uh, Betty, the very best of Betty Everett. Uh, this is in the Shrink, VJ Records. The Beatle Connection is a VJ Records. The Beatles Connection, come on. Of course, the Shoop Shoop song, It's in His Kiss. And You're No Good, which uh, Linda Ronstadt recovered. And Special appearance by Jerry Butler, another Detroit master. Now, okay. <laughs> my, my, my first official that I bought, I, I've always had the 45 of Jump, but I've never had this record. Really clean copy. Uh, I did get a promo of the very first Van Halen record from Warner Brothers when it came out, and I gave it away the next week. I just never got into them, but I do like Jump. 
So if Belinda Murphy is watching, with hype sticker. With hype sticker, Melinda. <laughs> and someone wrote seven ninety. I can't believe they wrote seven ninety nine on the record. I know that's way too high. <laughs> okay, I have two original copies of this, but I no longer have the poster. So look, ten dollars to get the poster. No way. The Milton Glaser poster. So I really bought it only for the poster. But this is a good seventies copy anyway. But the poster is worth more than the record oh, yeah. to me, right? Wow, that's it's a deal. that period. Of, yeah, it's a mofi sleeve too, right? You know, I no longer have Queen on vinyl, which is really weird. 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 So of course <laughs> I got this. And lastly, oh, two more, two more. You know, MCA working for the man, or basically, you know, Sweet Home Alabama. How can you not? Unloved, not love right. that song. I saw you buying that. I was shocked. Yeah, I know, but you know, <laughs> twenty bucks. Sweet Home Alabama. It's a good yeah. copy. I don't need to buy a sixty-dollar analog production version. Oh. And the Circle. The Circle, Circle was the only American band uh, managed by Brian Epstein. Weren't they uh, local? I don't know where they're. You mean local Seattle? Yeah. I have no idea. But they uh, maybe claim, LA. They claim maybe the fame LA. for most people my age was the single Red Rubber Ball. Didn't they do Red Rubber Ball? Red Rubber Ball, which was written by Paul Simon. They had a huge hit of it, The Circle, on Columbia Records. This is a 2i, Columbia Records. And in the gift shop, oh. you can oh. get, uh, <laughs> there's gonna be more available in the gift shop. Thank you. <laughs> Mazzy loves you. Mazzy loves you. That's, I'm gonna end the video like this. Dave loves you. Dave, Dave loves you. Dave yeah. loves you. Dave, Dave, Dave loves you. Dave loves you. Okay, so, so how do you know each other? Um, we're, we're, drug, we're, we're all drug dealers. Oh, okay. <laughs>